I haven't had a lot of experience with manicures. Had a couple of them, enjoyed it. But when I told the women of my family about this story, they were excited. Ready. Whoa. <laughs> I like it. A San Francisco-based company called Clockwork says it has developed the world's first fingernail painting robot. And when you see people use it and tell you how they feel and tell you that it's exactly what they wanted, uh, that's sort of the most rewarding thing, really. A combination of 3D cameras and computers allows the robot to identify the shape of each fingernail with what the company calls submillimeter accuracy. There is a little bit of an onus on the user as well to be able to stay still. But for people who are able to stay still, uh, you can get like definitely a salon quality coat. Um, like 100% better than anything that I would ever be able to do. Check out reaction from what the company says are real customers in this promotional video. So cute. Ready. It looks really good. They look awesome. They look really good. It's like very smoothly applied and like the coverage is everywhere. I prepared for my interview with the company's owner by getting questions from a manicure pro, my wife, Charlene. Is yeah. your brand that you're using of that kind of quality, is it an OPI level? Yeah, so it is in fact OPI. So like we use a lot of the famous brands. And um, how long does it last? Just like a regular nail polish at the moment. So this isn't gel polish, it's regular lacquer. Um, the next service that we are going to add is a top coat and that would mean that the polish lasts even longer. For now, Clockwork only offers 10 colors, but has plans to add more. The company's founder says using robots for beauty services dates all the way back to the popular TV show, The Jetsons, in the early 1960s. How long does it take? Uh, less than 10 minutes, so I can get my nails done in about like six and a half minutes. And how much does it cost to have it done? $8 right now is like, that's the promotional rate, but um, even in the future, it's gonna be about the $10 price point. And there's no tipping? No, you, <laughs> there isn't. Renuka Apti says internally, members of the company call their manicure robot Frankenstein. She says it's a joke about how the engineers were more interested in bringing it to life than how it looks. Is there anything I haven't asked you that you can imagine my female viewers are going to want to know and they're going to say, Bill, why didn't you ask this? Um, well, I think gel polishes. We are working on gel polishes and they should be out soon. Right now, you'll only find Frankie, the nail painting robot in New York and San Francisco. But the owner of the company tells me that they've just signed a deal with a major retailer. Won't tell me who. And in the coming year, you'll find it in stores, airports and other locations. In Greensboro, Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News.